There's a new law in effect meant to keep you safe the next time you use a service like Uber and Lyft. CBS 17's Michael Hyland has a closer look at what's changed and if drivers are actually following this new law. Whenever she requests a ride, Rhonda Young makes sure it's the right one. I just know that I want to live and I have a family to get back to, so I'm just very cautious. I take a look at them. I, I, I monitor their behavior. This week, a new law went into effect requiring rideshare drivers to display license plate information on the front of their cars. I wanted to find out if they're complying. So I went to RDU the last two days and saw dozens of riders like Rhonda get rides through Uber and Lyft. The majority of drivers I saw were like David Needham, complying with the new law. You know, if you're, if you're a passenger, uh, make sure that, that the person that you're getting in the car with is the person that you're expecting. Roughly one out of every eight I saw had no license plate information on the front. So are you going to be getting that? Yeah. And putting it on there at some point? Mm hmm So just forgot? Uh, yeah, I've been meaning to. I just haven't stopped and done it yet. The law says failing to comply with this could lead to a $250 fine. I reached out to Uber and Lyft to ask how they communicated to drivers what they needed to do. Uber sent placards to its drivers to display. Lyft put notifications to drivers in its app and gave them a template to fill out online. That's good because that gives you an idea of exactly the identity of who you're with. I reached out to state rep John Bell who pushed for this change. He said like many new laws, there will likely be a grace period for all drivers to come into compliance. But he expects that to happen soon to ensure your next ride is safe. In Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. And Uber recently unveiled new safety features of its own to protect customers as well. A new verification system will require a driver to get a PIN code from their rider before a trip can actually start. When the driver enters the PIN, the customer gets a notification on their phone to confirm the Uber ride. This month, more than a dozen women sued competitor Lyft, alleging it mishandled reports of sexual assault. Now Uber is facing similar lawsuits as well.